interior designer Mary McDonald. Mary McDonald is an award-winning, internationally published Los Angeles-based interior designer as well as one of the stars of Bravo TV's Million Dollar Decorators. She designed unique residential and commercial interiors that span from classic to modern, McDonald designs beautiful furniture also. This French manor house's great room has been updated for modern seaside living. Closet transports us to a serene haven of luxury. White is the primary color in both spaces, with darker colors and gold notes providing a beautiful contrast. Mary McDonald's irreverence is a thing of beauty. Take a look at the library, for example. With rich colors and velvet textiles, the interior designer evokes a more opulent age, particularly reminiscent of a French hotel. One of the most colorful rooms in the house. McDonald is a rare interior designer who can use leopard print wallpaper, upholstery, and drapes in a single room and still net an impossibly elegant space. We arrive at the office, a bold usage of brilliant colors. Both lustrous and sophisticated, but with different color schemes. Modern pastels meet traditional French. Dramatic versus upbeat? The master bathroom contrasts sharply with the guest powder room. The first emphasizes the magnificence of this French-style property, which is brimming with amenities. For the second, it's safe to say Mary was dreaming of pink when she created this vivid yet opulent guest powder room close to the doorway. So one of the pieces that I'm always inspired by is my Demetria Chez. Um, I love the line of it and the Greco-Roman influence, and I've done it in this sort of dappled gray oak finish, which is actually so, it's kind of so hot right now, except it's pretty classic, and that's what I love about this entire space that I've created. She is one of today's most respected tastemakers, known for her exuberant and fearless approach to design which is reflected in her glamorous and timeless masterpieces. Italian rattan chair, they are glamorous and groovy. She also notices a set of slightly subversive ceramic. Another one of the pieces that I really love because of its jewelry-like effect is my Josephine cabinet. I personally like this dark espresso stain with the red inside because I think it's kind of glamorous and dramatic. But if you notice all the custom cast brass, it really gives a room a certain elegance. Most people are wanting to be cool and modern, even the traditionalists, so mid-century inspired seating, as well as organic stone and crystal tables and lighting. Not to mention my new coffee table, which is pretty mid-century inspired by the glamour and the time of the Duchess of Windsor with the brass detailing. Pretend your room is a cityscape with varying buildings to create that visual landscape when you walk in a room. You want to see relief in heights with your eye so it moves and the room has smooth punctuations as well. When shopping, ask yourself, what part of the cityscape is this piece fulfilling? Don't buy things that are the latest thing for no reason or have no cohesion to your interior. Also, stay away from pieces that are not thought out for scale. It's so easy to fall in love with a chandelier that looks like a single hanging bulb once it's installed. Down here has sort of a Clismos reference. It's got the plinths on the top, sort of a Louis Says reference with all the fluting, and it's got the trellis back. So it has this beautiful medley of different elements that are put together so elegantly and simplistically, but it's interesting when you start to look at it. Eccentric chairs, pink opaline boxes, vintage jewelry, glamorous stools, the color pink Flores Viana.
McDonald, I went to Boston University as an undergrad, then Parsons for fashion. I was a milliner in my 20s. I had always cared about interiors as a side interest, even when I was in college, I decorated my half of the room to the hilt. I had a sophisticated eye, and I was willing to do any grunt work to make an interior complete, so I always had these really put-together rooms and homes. When I was around 30, a friend asked me to do their home, and that was the beginning. I'm entirely self-educated, and I found out quickly that running a business is very different from the exciting, creative part. I love all things Louise says in that 18th century, clean, neoclassical, lined um, silhouette. And then I love a little bit of glamour thrown in. Many designers' work is based in tradition, it's classic, it's a little francophile. I've always been a bit of an actress, in that I see interior design a bit like production design. Who do you want to be? How do you want to feel? I might give a room a contemporary interpretation with a graphic pattern or something overscaled, but my approach is rooted in tradition. So said McDonald. I really try not to pay attention to rules. I work on instincts. Each space is so different that something that might be a rule for one type of architecture might be the opposite for another. I always loved the, Dior, the old 1950s Dior salon that was gray and white, and I find myself brought back to it again and again. And I did use these, these grays and grays and, and ivories because I find people are also really drawn to those soothing, subtle colors, especially for a bedroom. Sometime I find myself googling things from a certain decade. I have some favorite things I never get tired of, like 18th century France. Malmaison, Napoleon and Josephine's summer house, the decorative arts aspect of the home is incredible. I love each, each piece individually for different reasons. On one project, we had a huge room with a tented ceiling. It was supposed to be faux painted, but when the contractor primed the walls, something about the formulation of the base paint made the walls peel. With all the ceiling fabric already in place, we didn't want to sand it, so instead we used a fabric wallpaper in the same pattern as the tent. It was incredibly stressful, but the result was beautiful to whatever you're working on, or your shop, or your design job. The brass, the tapered mid-century leg with the little bit of the brass tip on the bottom. They have kind of the perfect mix of history and things that are modern in him, thus modern history. 